guys. To some it's major DJ blood. Squirt. No bye. drip. What's all up? splash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's good? What's good? Oh I'm a little rough right now, but oh, you, you know. Thank you for popping in. And if you ever want to redo it again, once you're really prepared, we will. Okay. Oh, yeah. I own sure. out because when you hit that, you invested in yourself. You said, hey, yeah, give me some social media marketing. Woo. Appreciate it. Because you don't know, I get four or 500 songs every other day. You yeah. know, and they want, and it's zero. They don't even do $5. They just like, do this for me. Like, damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was impressed with the knowledge and that you was reading it. Yeah. What's good? You boo, boo and you was like, <laughs> you was my girl, my sis, my love, Tampa Mystic. That is my boo right there. You hear me? Yeah, I'm, I'm performing for her uh, April 11th. I will be there. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to see me live in action. Okay, we get her. Get a cute picture. <laughs> yeah, hey, Chris, sure. how you doing, baby, Chris? I got to do this interview, Grizz. I love you. I'm doing five dollar holidays after this. Make sure you pop on, baby. Send me some music. But look, okay, let's get started. You guys, uh -huh. I see I'm on live. Look, I'm all too close. Hold on, let me fix this. Ugh, it's too close over here. Hmm. I, I ain't been here in a week, and I ain't got it fixed right. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I um I found him live on um, Facebook, Who <laughs> Tampa Mystic. You guys, everybody, welcome. He is in the building. This is MGM. Is it Stanley? Yeah, yeah Stanley. Okay, Stanley, I like that. You're so cute. You need a cougar. Thank <laughs> you, boo. You let me know. I got it. <laughs> okay, no, I'll just be playing. I'll just be acting silly. But anyway, it's it's yeah, I love to do these interviews, number one, because it's important for people to know who the hell you are when mm -hmm. they tap love you because they know you they knew you got your ass whooped for putting crayon on the wall it sticks with people and they support whatever you do okay yeah these questions i want to ask you i asked everybody the same questions i don't give a hell it was michael jackson from the grave i asked the same questions okay, okay? all right here we go you are amazing young man i think you're so handsome i love that um your 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 look your i heard your answers and everything you were giving tell like oh my god you so cute. okay <laughs> here we go Look, go ahead. First of all, they probably see your social media on here. But anyway, for those that don't want to read, shoot out your social media so how everybody can follow you. Next. What's happening with y'all? I hope y'all can hear me good. But uh, y'all can follow me at, as you can see in the comments right there on the uh, pen area, MGM Lowey on IG, but MGM Stella on everything else. So that's MGM L O W A Y on IG and uh, MGM S T A N L O on everything else. Thank you. I'm sorry that I didn't tag that correctly. My bad. Anyway, <laughs> they, can, they can type that in and it still came up. So, you know, whatever. Okay, boo. All right. So tell us a little bit about you before I really get started. Meaning, you know, when you got into this industry, how long you've been in, you know, what inspired you to be in this industry? Um, I mean, I've been doing, I've been at it for a while since I was legit, you know what I'm saying? Since I was like real, you know, I think I took it more serious when I got like, I think, Oh, what's up, B? That's my beautician in the comments. What's up? I took it more serious, like, when I got, like, 13. Yeah, like, I had, and I actually got on, like, a, a radio station here, 100.1 to beat when I was, like, 14. So like, 16? Huh? Like, 16 now? You say now? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Hey, I ain't, I ain't, look, I'm going to drop behind the ears a little bit now. <laughs> hey, we don't know. Yeah. You know, I, I hit the, I hit the radio station when I was, like, 14. You know, 14, 15, maybe, and I've been been at it like seriously since then. Is that five, five years, ten years? How many years? Mm, you're about fifteen. See, that's what I'm saying. You look like you're about fifteen. Oh, yeah, I tell you, you know, I stay, I stay at it. You know, I eat a little healthy. You know, work out. Like I stay active. Look, I look. I say that because my grandson, mm -hmm, when he was young, he was like five, and I took him to McDonald's. Right. We don't really give them, you know what I'm saying? We don't give them that. But I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you some ice cream, but don't tell you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So excited. He got that ice cream. He said, oh, this is the best ice cream I ever had in my whole life. <laughs> yeah. What like they, he, say, they, say, uh, they say, drink water and mind your business. Keep you looking young. That's what they say, right? We're going to have a little fun before I get started with the interview. Right, get, right. For sure. My age. Huh? You guess say, can I age? give? 
I'm gonna let you guess my, my age. Looks or just me just being realistically. You don't really know me, so booming. Don't be, you been all over my social media? Don't pay attention to that. What I look like right now. Thirty-two. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> my child is thirty-three. For real. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so yes, I am. You got it. Okay. 30. Major, Major said 54. Don't be guessing 54, Major. I'm going to whoop you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's quit playing around. Let's get to the good dog. Right. All right, boo. What city and state are you from? You know, I'm from Monroe, Louisiana. Okay. As they call it gun roll, or as we call it gun roll. But yeah, I'm from Monroe, Louisiana. <laughs> you hear me like we're home of the Cajun, home of the spice. So you know, you know I'm a home of that. So you know when I'm the music game, I'm bringing that flavor for sure. Okay, boo, I like that confidence. Yeah. So look, I'm the regional vice president of the Nerve DJs in Cleveland, Ohio. We got a huge headquarters, three to five thousand DJs. I work with a lot of industries out of the country, a lot of other countries. So. Yeah. Um, I really back independent artists just like Tampa. Love them. We all, you know, I love her. And um, so, yeah, it's important because, yeah, a lot of people hit me up and go, who is that? Who is that? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, it's good to know you're from Louisiana. That's where that style come from. Right, There's right. A lot of cross work people need to do when it comes to rap. Now things are changing and you got to be able to adjust. Adjust. Fight. I think that's, you can. Main, that's main thing. You gotta adjust. Yes, I think you can because I do like your song. I like the song, and it felt like you weren't just in these streets, just trying to put out anything for anybody to hear you. You was really making. Hey, Elvio, hey, boo, that's a producer you right there. Haven't heard. You a producer? producer? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. What's oh, up with you? I'm gonna definitely talk with your management though. Not trying to hit you up. I'm gonna hit your management because that's how it's supposed to go. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. Yeah. But he probably. I have I'm gonna jump in, jump in here soon. Uh, he probably, I just tagged him from my other phone, so he probably be on in a minute. I have a program called Independent Indie. Oh God, Entertainment Strategies, where I'm putting these guides together and helping okay. artists the process and way you move. And you know, when you connect and you do things, you already tapped in with me. Yeah, See, I'm not. I don't. Y'all tapped in and invested. I said, oh. Okay, you on my roster now. Something go down. Somebody asked for something they needed. They want to know what's up. Boom. You, you, you in there. I, I'm going to connect it however I can. And, so you and know. I appreciate that. appreciate that. It's about what's what we're supposed to do. But anywho. Okay. So you from Louisiana. <laughs> I love it. All right. So how many siblings did you grow up with in the household? Um, Two. So that's my, just me and my two no. brothers. Basically. Okay, don't, put it off, don't, put it off. don't tell them. Just answer the questions. Go flow with me. Roll with me. Okay. okay. You got two brothers in the household. Mm -hmm. Mom and dad in the home or just mom? Just That's mom. That's okay. okay. Tell us a lot about you. You know how to take care of one. You could use a cougar then, right? <laughs> yeah. There you, baby. I got you. Me and mama going to make Sunday dinner. No, let me quit playing before she about to kill me. Anyway. Right, I like to eat. You know how to cook. Hell yeah. Winner. Cook, clean, peace. When I come home, it's quiet. We're going to play that. Oh, yeah. Okay. For sure. Okay. Let me quit. Let me quit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this mom at home. Awesome. So, what number child are you? Two. You're the middle. Middle. Right. I'm the cutest nerd you will ever meet. Mm. I'm a data analyst by nature. Yeah. And I've been for a long time. And I said, you know what? You know, everything is psychological also. And everything happens for a reason. And so I say, all these interviews and all these people that's jumping out being successful look as alert as you are, how you're moving, how you're talking, how you invested that positivity. What number child, you know what I'm saying, are these people that I've been interviewed? I ask all these questions and guess what? You fit my theory. Mm. You either get the oldest, the middle, or the only and never the baby. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you understand why I said that? Mm -hmm. You fit my my theory i've been interviewing a lot of time and it's everybody fought to play the stepping out here and i'm interviewing because i know okay they got something they that you you fit it you good you in my book oh snap Ooh. how tall are you honey five, five ten 
Damn. But you could put some Timberlands on and be six feet, right? <laughs> yeah. They got to have yeah. a, a little more inches on the bottom. Well, see, this, this is the thing with me. If you don't mind wearing Timberlands, I mean the old school New York Timberlands, Brooklyn Timberlands. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The super Tim. Six feet to me. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'll tell you about that later. A lot of people on here already know, but I'll tell you later. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's not my theory. All right, you're not tall enough, but that's okay. You're talented. We're cool with that. All right, so I do these interviews because DJ Squirt is about bringing people together, showing them who you are, sharing your challenges, struggles, and your success so that you can be an inspiration to someone else, okay? So I want to ask you a question. If there were any challenges, any struggles you may have experienced, I want you to, if you want to share it, tell me what it was, how it made you feel, how you overcame it, okay? So it's a thing about once you send these kids to school, everything you taught your child or whatever they experienced at home, now they go mix with all these damn other crazy demons, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bullies fighting, feeling alone. You, you know, you go through something. How was school for you? Was there any challenges you may have had that you had to overcome as a child at school? No, nah, because, I mean, school was straight for me. One thing about it, like, I was bad. I was bad, but most of all, overall, I listened. Like, I ain't never mm -hmm. been too hard here not to listen to, like, a, like, it wasn't mom that could tell me to do it. It would always be somebody else to tell me. Like, when that person said it must mean, like, oh, yeah, it's time to chill out now. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mama tell me a thousand times I'm going to be hard here and get in trouble for the same thing again. But, like, mm -hmm. grandma or mom or until or some a homeboy said said like it made more sense to me than how mama put it she'll say the same thing but when your homeboy somebody else tell you then you gonna actually listen so school for me was was straight because i had teachers who who saw the potential in me and felt like like you too smart to be doing that but like i grew up like streetwise like i say um mom i single parent household you know what i'm saying my other two brothers but I ain't really had no curfew. I just chose, like I say, like who I looked up to was the homies in the streets. Like my big homies was OGs. They was already not going to school. I was that little kid who hung around them. So I saw a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, growing up. And um, mm -hmm. and they always like, dang, little homies, pass your bedtime, man. Go in the house. You got to go to school. You know your mama <laughs> at work. But my mama didn't play. Like when my mama comes, she hop out of the Hop out like don't be having my kid, my kids on it. You know, like my mama ain't playing. Everybody respecting my mom in the hood. Like she still got love in the hood. Like when I go back to my hood, like that for me. Like I got major love in the hood. But they always told me, man, stay in school or or do this or do that. You gonna be that. So now when I go, like I look like a hero in my hood. Like when I go back, like it's like major love in the hood. So, but and my teachers stayed on me and they they ain't give up on me. Like whether I was bad, suspended for fighting or. That's the only thing, though. I ain't, I ain't do too much in school. Just fight a lot. But other than that, I always made good grades. I wasn't bad. Just hard-headed. But, mm -hmm. you know, I listened still. But, yeah, my school school year was, was popping. Then I started music, you know what I'm saying? And that was it. Okay, okay. We're going to get to that. Yeah. Okay, so and we're establishing, you know, where you come from and how and why you think how you think. See, that's another thing why it's important to have, you know, a successful dad in the home, not just some old crackhead abuser, man, you know, a real person, a man figure in the household with boys. Okay. And she had all boys. All boys. That's why you no, dear. that. See, number one, not that you didn't respect your mother. I'm just putting this together in my mind. I might not be right, but we're going to say what I say. I got so <laughs> that's kind of why you gave her them issues. Cause it's like, you see how the community receives women. For the the man. Jackson right there. Hey, oh, you see how, you know what I'm saying, people receive women. So you kind of knew, ah, this is my mama. You know, I do what I want to. But then when somebody else told you, you're like, ooh, it's a difference. But if dad was there when you were younger and mama said no, and then you did it anyway and dad beat that ass, then you listen to mama because you don't want dad to beat that ass. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a yeah, 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 yeah. My dad, an OG, though, I did, and that's a matter of fact, that's another person who kind of in free him. Like, he always been in jail my whole life. Nigga still in jail, matter of fact. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, hey, um, is he oh, Huh? I'm sorry. I was yelling at somebody. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He real OG. He, he kind of kept me grounded, too. Like, hey, man, you ain't trying to be in here where I'm at or, 
you know, like oh, that's just like little trouble I was getting into. He was trying to help me through it, like like tell your lawyer this, this and that, this and that. So it felt like my lawyer, like every time I caught a show, my lawyer, like he know what he talking about. You know what I'm saying? So kind of wow. helped out. That's dope. No, that's mm -hmm. the plus of still having a relationship with your dad. Okay, we the coolest. We the coolest. I love for sure. that. Love that. Okay, cool. Now, everybody has what's called an aha moment, meaning. There was someone that inspired you, something that inspired you, maybe an artist, maybe an incident, a tragedy, something triggered you to be this dope ass artist. What is your story? Man, hey, look, this crazy. Let me tell you. Um, mm -hmm. I grew up, you know, we had like a, a damn, I can't even think of the uh, record store we had way back then. Like everybody used to go buy the CDs from the record store mm -hmm. when we had the little uh, handheld, like, you know. I older than I thought. Okay. CD, player, CD players, you know, like, and if I made good grades, mama used to be like, I used to love, want to be like the high boy. Like cash money. That's what, like, my era, we grew up like No Limit. Uh, see, Boosie was a little later, but he did expire my my generation coming up, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it was like No Limit, Um, you know, cash money, they, them type of Scarface, UGK, way back then. You know what I'm saying? But me, when the hot boys came out, it was a group of them, and me and my homeboys used to call ourselves the hot boys. So me, what I used to do is buy their city the first day it come out. Just do the first day. That, like that would motivate me to make good grades. I know if I'm gonna get paid, I'm gonna go get this CD they cost <laughs> the new hot boy city. So what I did was learn all the songs. I wrote the lyrics, right? I go to school and rap them and act like it was me. <laughs> and my homeboys should be like that type, yeah. And I used to rap. <laughs> Whoever had the tightest this verse on the song, I used to always rap they verse, verse in school. And what, everybody used to always think that was me to somebody older than me or here and be like, you got that from, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. dope. So you, yeah, so, you know, so um, you love BG then? I was more a little Wayne and Juvenile. Oh, okay. BG, BG cold too, though. All of them was tight back then. I don't care which one. If, if they song was popular, I knew it word for word because yeah. i used to write it down like, people used to think i'm in school writing the, my own lyrics it was anyway. lyrics. <laughs> so yeah. i i got somebody i'm gonna connect you with that maybe you might want to collab with um bg has a cousin named oh my god don't kill me don't kill me for messing up your name baby but he actually did a song with soda baby recently i know his management his mother i know his whole label i'm gonna connect you guys when we get done he actually oh, sure. of course what i do he came to my splash tour that I have for independent artists. He's very dope. Um, I'm gonna make sure. Is it coming up soon? Um, I we just not opened the school here, so I haven't scheduled it yet. But I'm gonna let you know. I'll keep you posted. It's really dope. It's just a chance to perform and network, and it's real fun. And we spit a lot of game. Oh yeah. Um, so I'll I'll keep you posted. I have it as much as I can, but yeah, I've had about six of them, and they're very successful. Okay, here we go um so yes yeah, so that was your aha moment that's amazing so what i would like you to do for everyone that's watching and for the video give us your accolades see there's i say this answer this in a way that there's someone just not starting out decided yesterday to be an artist give them some inspiration let me know okay i want to do this like them you did explain how you did that in school what were your steps how did you reach out how did you start connecting these dots to be where you are today so shoot some accolades step by step i went here i did this. let me know your accomplishments man um it was me at a young you no know, like i say i ain't have a curfew it was this club called uh <gasps> club yeah, members club members if if people know what's happening with club members like that was the hottest club in monroe louisiana okay back then okay it was like always a group of um Shout out to him to his name, Rodney the Boss. He he Grammy winning uh award producer too. He produced a lot of beats for me when I got signed to him. You know what I'm saying? Right. But um, you know, and my uncle was the hottest DJ in for he DJ at club uh, members. Uh, and that was he'll ride with uh, me to to the club to help me tote my equipment in the thing. So I'm connecting with the owners, and they was like, "You too young to get in the club." I snuck in in a cooler one day. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Yeah, I was little. I was to my mom like, yay tall. I, they put me in the cooler, told me I was hiding behind the DJ booth the whole <laughs> night. And so everybody got drunk or went top, whatever they was on. And I popped out and sitting in my little cone in jail. So 
they came to perform one night, Rodney them. Mm -hmm. And um, by, the, by the, that time, I had got into music a little bit or whatever. And uh, I just gave him a CD. I'm like, man, just listen to it. Mm -hmm. One day, I'm to my kid. He gave me his number. I called him every single day until he say, man, let me see what you got. Brought me to the studio. I ain't missed neither when I went. Mm -hmm. So um, I recorded my first single with him at their studio then. For I knew it. See, he already had the connection. Like, so 100 on the beat, all the DJs. And he introduced me to all of them. And they took a liking to me, too. So when they did that, it was like, look, it was like, okay. my, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, a little bro of the city. So it's like, I was probably like, me and my uh uh my bro he he signed to the same la label my own too his name young reed we did a song together instantly we hit the radio then it starts everything started oh, changing yeah. hit the radio yeah Ooh. like it ain't even you take long though it's just like me like connecting them dots and then you had the good music to go with it so it was like gotta run yeah. with that. and yeah. we was the new way for the young generation see they was a little mm -hmm. older they was catering to the older crowd me and my mm -hmm. bro had the younger mm -hmm. crowd like it was it was game time then yeah, that's fire so you you done tapped into some royalties oh, and you know yeah. oh that's good yeah i got it uh, yeah i got everything uh, together on my end how'd you feel to get the royalty check mm -hmm. i gotta i know it, it's good but i gotta gotta go harder though because i know that's yes. bigger though I was gonna say that's incentive to go harder because you look at it like that. That's that's kind of it. I could do more. You know, I could do better. And I that's how more. that's what I'm at with it when I be like telling my partners, them you know, upcoming rappers who just like it is get a beat, uh, record a track, put it out. But I be like, bro, it's more to just putting out a record. I got like I like remember we the mm -hmm. other interview I had with uh, Misty. I told her like I got over probably like eighty or hundred songs that I haven't released keep go look keep that catalog yeah because we because you never know you never know who you're gonna meet that's gonna go wait a minute you're fired how did you and, and you start getting that stuff and stuff getting loud on the radio and moving and moving and moving most money you're gonna make is in your performance mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. your performance and your merchandise and all that depends on how well they receive you how well you behave you mm -hmm. can get hard negatively but eventually you fall down. So you don't want to put that eventually fall down under you, okay? Nah. Okay. You see, you, you notice I do it. I, I move a little different, man. I let them have, you know, I got a whole different little route, I, you know. Gotta, yeah, and you got to keep going because there's 10 million independent radio stations versus, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In certain areas. Well, not that's not to say to avoid the ones in the area, but if you can master and major the like and love of those 10 million independent artists, then eventually that FM is gonna ask them where they gotta raise you, it's gonna blow you up. It's a way to do it. It's a way, yeah, to, it's do a way it. to do it, yeah. And so that is so dope. Okay, boo, okay. So you moving and shaking, you put music, you get royalty check, baby. What you show you don't need a cover. <laughs> 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 that's all i want <laughs> okay that's dope all right boo so check this out now that you are on the move you are in a very good position in what you're doing you know what i'm saying that's amazing you just keep moving it's gonna work for you all you need sometimes is that one good song to get you that big 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 check right mm -hmm. that's all you're gonna, you gonna get it but you just it's about your analytics it's about your study it's about your team it's about your focus you know don't be popping off oh she cute get that big booty girl and fall off you're gonna fall off because you're messing up i'm just saying I know. You know, I, i've been there quite a while trust me you get you a cougar i got your back okay <laughs> <laughs> no let me stop okay so look now that you <laughs> now that you're on the move with that and you got it rolling on this journey now that you you know you got 15 years behind you that's amazing yeah, she, she she is, oh yeah yeah <laughs> you better know every song too okay is, she 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 is, she she I'm support gonna big you know, she gonna she gonna let me know she got the I, album I got, come out. I got an amazing plan that i use for artists moving as yourself i'm gonna tell it to you before we leave but my next question is in this journey as you're moving what kind of things do you need to see Okay, I want you to describe them for you to be excited and say, "Oh my God, I did it! That's it! That oh my God, I'm so excited!" What do you need to see from this point going forward 
What's successful to you? What's your next step to be excited about? That breakthrough, you know what I'm saying? Like to be like, um, I, I did it. Like in my family, like I can look and be like, I the first one made it out of, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but, but you gotta explain that to me. What you mean? Made it, like, made it. Musically successful, like, I mean, even, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, Legitimately, like you know, what I'm saying like without the streets or whatever, some this positive that I did, or you know, what I'm saying that like that I changed in my community or for me and my family, as you know, what I'm saying like, dang, I did it, you know what I'm saying. Okay. But uh, yeah, like everybody wants that little breaking point. Like you work so hard, and then like many times you just like, man, I want to give up, but something you just keep that fire burning. And you just, the pushing is like, like, yeah, you close, you know what I'm saying? So, and I feel like I'm close. It's just like that right. So, look, look, you close, close to what? What do you need to see to say, I'm, I made it? Instead of saying I'm close, what is it? I need to see a Grammy. I need to see, I, I need, you know, what look, I'm saying? I ain't even worried about a Grammy because I feel like I know I can get that. I gotta get, get, get that. I need that chick with a comma. In another comma, okay, and some so zeros behind. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to see what's success to you. You need that check. Okay, that's fire. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not just trying to pull it out to you. I'm just trying to make you talk because I think you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so that's dope. All right, here we go. My next question. Okay, when you come to Cleveland, we're going to get you Cleveland Live in the studio. Nerve DJ's radio is fire. And the DJ's I'm ready, radio. too. My manager was just talking about that. I'm ready DJ's for you. Bird radio show ain't no joke, and ain't nobody interviewing like me. And I put a, a six, five to six artists around the table together, and y'all network, and you work together, and y'all got to get out Oh, there. yeah, that's for sure. That's fine. I'm, I'm ready. I break Nigga, the cost he, up. He holding me down. I'm ready to see you in the morning get my hair done. Look, I break the cost up between five and six people versus one person paying all that money. But then everybody mm -hmm. gets the promo, but then you done built a relationship. You done, you know, and then more people outside of that are watching, mm -hmm. like anchors and PRs and all that kind of stuff. They're watching, and then they see, oh, look how well he works. You know what I'm saying? They see. Mm -hmm. They see. So we're going to get you in. It's only $65 a person on my interviews. That's cool. Y'all may tap it. No, it's not, it's not expensive, and I don't change my prices. As long as I don't change my rent, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I just think about what it's going to cost me to run. It ain't about me putting a thousand dollars in my pocket. It's about me being able to continue to do what I do because I have six other things I'm working on. I'm not trying to, I ain't got time to be stealing your money. That's too much work. But anyway, what I'm saying is there's only $65 an artist when I have a show. Mm -hmm. and I need you here in studio. When I bring you live in studio, it's a whole different game on this interview. But this one, I'm just breaking it down for this. Okay, so here we go. So, Hypothetically speaking, <laughs> I'm your girlfriend, right? <laughs> okay, just hypothetically speaking, in this scenario, I'm your girlfriend, and I work at Magic City. You know what Magic City is, right? Oh, definitely. I'll be there soon. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm your, okay, okay, so you know what's up. So, I'm at Magic City, I'm making that money, right? Mm -hmm. And I call you in the morning, because that's what time I got off, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, let me, baby, wake up, wake up. You answer the phone, right? He's like, what, what's up? You think it's something wrong? I'm like, baby, this man loved me tonight. I was, eh, eh, Cardi B ain't got nothing on me, right? Right. I'm like, check your bank account. I sent you some money, right? I sent you some money. And you like, oh, whatever. You go look and I sent you $30 million. Mm. Now listen. 30 M? 30 mil. Uh, okay. I bet. It's a hypothetical story, okay? Because, see, I, I ask this because a lot of the kids and the youth that's growing up in the city, like, well, they ain't never seen that much money in their hand. You know what I'm saying? And then you get older a certain age and you get that in your hand and they mess it up because they don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. I say, look at the economy, look at the world, how it's going today. The government is controlling everything. But if we, in, as people, built and created things around us in our communities to support each other, we don't need the government. Mm -hmm. So, your cute girlfriend, from Magic City, gave you 30 mil. I need you to think about this. What would you create within your community? And think of things that you see that you would wanna change or be you know, responsible for. What could you create in your community with that 30 mil? 30 mil, I'd be the, I would probably be the mayor. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> nah, I invest though, you know what I'm saying? I give, I give back, I, uh, 
build community. That's actually my plan. Like now I'm looking out my window, the state center of building this hotel Monroe and restaurant right, right there. Mm -hmm. I would build something across from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I I bring a lot of things like in our city for sure, for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? That we don't have like what causes the our youth to get in like a uh, trouble like our crime rate I, like i live that like i know i got nephews and all that like i come from the streets you know what i'm saying so i just got a mind that i can't save everybody so i can't i ain't gonna get in the way so if that's what they want to do then that's what they're gonna do but if i had the, the bag to ch try to change that situation i i mean i'm talking about i invest i even invest in the air we breathe to make it clean fresher or something like oh, even the food oh, i've never had that answer okay yeah. see i, I think I about never... stuff like that Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like the pollution and air. I want to know what kind of system we could filter to make it better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be. Yeah, I'll be. Um, I think about stuff like that. You know? Yeah, I'll be. I've never had nobody give me the answer about. If I had 30 mil, I would. My kids, 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 kids probably are never worry about that. True. But you can't just give people money you no that ain't what i'm talking about oh, okay i have like generational wealth like it'd be long jeopardy like okay. it i ain't trying to just just give it out but i put people in position to make like yeah. it's either you're gonna teach you're gonna give them fish or you're gonna teach them how to fish i'm trying to teach them how to fish so they can feed their family you are freaking super oh you're making me cuss sorry <laughs> you're freaking super <laughs> <laughs> that's ain't that bad, but you know. I'll yeah, that's that's the thing. I'm on. That's that, that's what I want people around me to do. Teach me how to fish. Don't give me the fish. Teach me. You you can break me off a little piece and give me a taste and be like, oh yeah, I want that. You teach me how to do that. You are super dope. So yeah. definitely be thinking about that because you are a superstar. You're gonna have opportunities that benefit you, and you ain't gotta wait till you get that kind of money. You can start that right now with your research. Yeah, there's a lot you can do that don't include money to put it together. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. When yeah. you're focused and you're working on things like that as you're going towards your goals, that's how you get to them faster. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I agree. I, I'm look. I'm gonna be looking for that clean air. Okay, so because they selling us dirty water, making us pay for it. That's crazy. That's crazy. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So all of you're you're so dope. I love you. I'm a fan. I am a fan. Thanks. But I'm I'm gonna give you I am, I'm a fan. I'm gonna give you this plan that I give to a lot of people that are dope like you because a lot of people are gonna vibe with you just because you the way you make them feel because of how you think. Okay. So what you do, this if you get this goal right now and start pushing it every year, you always gonna have a hundred thousand dollars. You ready? Right. So the way you're moving and you're shaking, if you can get a thousand people every year to support you, something that you're putting out, you already got the music, you already got the deal, you got the plan. That's a hundred thousand dollars automatically straight to you. So you package like, uh, make sure you're doing at least four to five shows a year, something dope, mm -hmm. um, merch, um, some type of product. If it's a weed table or something type of product that's important to you with your logo on it, a flash drive, you know, a membership on your website that gives them access to your concerts for that entire year, no matter where it is. And you get a thousand people to invest a hundred dollars into that type of package on your website. You automatically got a hundred thousand dollars. Yo, you just gave us some game. I hope my manager, I hope you got that. <laughs> I hope you got your notebook right there. Cause we, oh, you we, got we, a we come notebook. Come Oh, cool, girl. Only okay, so look, whoever I get with, he's gonna be, he gonna be on. You gotta be on it, boo. So look, if you create that type of plan, and you put that on your website, and you do a member site where they pay a hundred dollars to get that access to you every year, you got a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, for sure. Flat out, no middleman. No three percent to Apple, no eight percent to nobody. That is true. right. Cause they show will be getting their tax. And a website is you can get that for two fifty a year. You have a website? Mm -hmm. Oh, you are missing out. I thought about it because I I did a um I actually started me I got my own LLC. I've been had it for like probably a year or two. And I want to lunch. I actually want to lunch 
people for people listening right now when i'm gonna be lunch see how see how i support everybody when somebody merch right now mm -hmm. my um mm -hmm. god brother shout out god brother shout out to him mm -hmm. if he ain't white you don't see me in it but you know but mm -hmm. i actually want to do my own brand i got the logo i got everything i got the uh my ein number i got like everything i want to launch uh a clothing brand soon so i have merch soon for the right what you gonna get on like now i do website for independent artists if you okay. can find out what they charge to do a website and then you come back and it's tell a lot of i know it's a lot of people that will design here and, and my sister actually know how to do it i just haven't just yeah. looked into just, it like tell, until i actually got something to sell like when me when i start something i don't like to finish it. i don't want to just set it up i want to have everything ready and to go true i don't i'm not trying to make the sale but i'm trying to make you onto some real game here you go website Mm -hmm. 250 you can create merch you can design it yourself get you a logo a png it could just be a sign signature it could be a domain name it could be a slogan so anything you can yeah. go to amazon.com buy a nice 100 percent cotton t-shirt listen to me now you can buy that shirt for six dollars and fifty cents slap that logo on it buy two or three of them right mm -hmm. they go okay two or three of them is less than 25 dollars okay cool that looks good take a picture of it put it on your website i'm not done pick a product you can go to aliexpress you can go anywhere and get a customized lighter customized flash drives customize anything mm -hmm. put it on your website okay t-shirt you can sell for 25 dollars, but you bought it for six you go do a show they love you they downloading your stuff before you even walk out of the concert mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you got you got merch, you got flash drives on your website, you got your songs on your website. They can download immediately for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. It's a whole country. This is my big home. I used to say I respect this woman. That's, what's up, Sid? What it do? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. So listen now. I'm trying to school you some game. I have a independent. Uh, independent oh, I'm all ears now. Listen. Oh, look. So you got your website up. Mm -hmm. you Fifty dollars, twenty fifty dollars. You know, spent twenty five dollars on some t shirts that you put on there. You only bought three. That's okay. That's okay. You got your website. They booking. You got the address. You got your contact. Everything on the website. Somebody hit your website. They love you. You got your pictures on there. You got videos on there. Hey, oh, he's so cute. I know how I am. <laughs> Boop. Here goes pop up while they sit on your website. It says, "Buy my t shirt. I love you." <laughs> they gonna buy that damn shirt. They gonna download that song that they want. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, $1.99 download, you got a $25 t-shirt, and imagine if 500 people did that in one day. That's, that's that automatic to direct that you. That ain't even the membership I told you about. Yeah, for sure. Don't forget so, about Yeah, we got to do that. Make say sure, you do that. Make sure whatever you make on the total that you take 33% off the top and put it to the side. That's your taxes because they're going to get your ass if you don't. All right? Now, check this out. The people, there's so many other countries. It's like 150, 150 some countries. Mm -hmm. I have DMs every single day from another country. Mm -hmm. they don't have access to hip hop like we do. They can't walk outside and be like, yo, hit that rap on the court. They don't. So they are. They That's go crazy. Me. You know what? And I believe you because it's crazy because when I look on my Spotify, my Apple Music, and I look what countries listen to me, and I'm hey, like, you, that you yeah, listen to me? Where, 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 where are they listening to you at? Um, I could look. It's where it's on this phone. It ain't. If it was on this phone, I could log in right now right. and look. It hits me up because I've been online for a long time, and I I used to do interviews and just talking online. Just and they yeah. all hit me up. Who was that? Ukraine. Right? They listen to me like you know uh, Dominican Serbia. Pro, the Republic. I met a producer. He produced a few of my um tracks, and he was way from over there. He like, bro, I came across your Apple Music. We met on Instagram, and ever since I've been locked in with him. They love you. So I so you believe what I'm saying? I get a lot of this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you this in a minute. Let me finish. Let me get it. Okay. So you got a website that you want to pay $250. That's what people are like. Well, I can't because I ah, shut up. Okay. Number two, you don't have to pay no full five hundred dollars for a photo shoot. You got an iPhone? Yes. You got ten outfits. You, see? you got ten outfits? Mm -hmm. Definitely. This is what you what you say? It's really nice outside. Is it sunny? Is it cool? The weather nice? Yeah, it wouldn't be nice. It's nice right now. Pick, pick a couple nice, nice days. And these are your pictures for the year. You take that iPhone. You take all them outfits. You take your peoples with you. You hit 10 to 
10 different nice areas in your city, downtown in front of the Ritz, stand in front of somebody else's damn expensive man's car. Take your pictures, change your outfits 50 times, get yourself five, 600 pictures. Those are your pictures for your promo for the year. You ain't got to pay nobody. Mm -hmm. She said, I got it. My iPhone don't, I, Apple don't have cameras because iPhone's got the best cameras in the world. Right. That's Boom. why. I, pictures, right? You can even shoot a video with that real quick. You don't have to I do know. a video of, you can just do, make sure, make yourself present on your web, on your social media. If you just get up at five in the morning, in the morning, good morning, y'all. It's going to be a good ass day. Click, get off. Mm -hmm. They know they're going to follow you. If you make it consistent, they're going to be looking for you the next day. And then you start getting talking about uh, mgm.com you know what i'm saying then they're gonna start going on your website you got to bring them to right. you okay right. Right. now okay so look so now your website is up let's say all of a sudden you did this interview with me and i reposted it and we got italy germany you're like, oh my god and you got your website on here while we restreaming it you wake up one day it's like 800 downloads for a dollar 99 right it's another way to get sales to figure out what kind of music you got to make. Yeah, we hear this hardcore shit. Yeah, you dope. You do. No, 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 no. Okay, one more game for you. One more game for you. Now, you got your membership I need you to work on, okay? That's your $100,000. Mm -hmm. And you got your website. Create one t-shirt, a couple t-shirts, put them on. And when they order it off your website, you already got the money. You got $25. You take the $25 and they want one t-shirt, you buy four t-shirts. Mm -hmm. right? Go to Amazon, order it, drop ship it directly to their house. You ain't have to do nothing. Right. Pay a little delivery fee. That's the cheap way to do it until you get your own stuff running. I'm on. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay. And I got some nice shirts too. I got some nice, and they not. Just make sure they're 100% cotton. You know, like people trying to trick you. Yeah. Make sure it's 100% cotton. You buy one or two, and you know, okay, that's the store I'm gonna buy them from when people order off my website. I'm gonna have some shirts when I come to Atlanta. On Atlanta. I'm a one X baby. I'm a, <laughs> I ain't no little chick. Okay, I got big booty. He got your side. He hear you. He listening. We got your side. <laughs> got one. I need X. Okay. Uh, now we got your hundred thousand dollar deal. We got your website to be bringing you in money constantly. Anytime you move, baby, you need to have your hat on, your t shirt with your name on it, and you be giving out ten of them while you out. I'm okay. When you give. You give them where you ain't got no more, they're going to go to your website while you're there. Always have you a table at every interaction. You go to somebody else, uh, program, can I bring my merch? Okay, cool. You have your peoples. If they love you, sit that table down. Put them shirts on that table. Your flash drives, your website is on a banner, big pop-up banner. You stand there. You let somebody stand there with your stuff. You ain't got to worry about nobody taking your money because they can download it directly. Oh, you can buy that right off the website. There you go. You can do it from your phone. That's money. Whenever you move, you need to be making money. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. They ain't pay you. No, I just want them to see me. See you for what? Okay? All right. That's hard. I'm, I, I don't know why I felt compelled to tell you all this because that ain't what this interview is about. That's what, God, that's what God brought us together for. You see how that worked? That's my baby right there, Toscrito. What's up, baby? I feel the best in the game. What's that in with you? Toscrito so I can finish your website. Yeah. yeah. You gotta finish. Hey, you just added a nut. Now you gotta give me one. One hundred fifty, and I will. All you gotta do is put all your stuff on the WeTransfer. I will set it up for you. Then we'll do a like a Zoom call. I'll show you how to work. You can do it right from your phone. Okay, you that's cool. I got laptop. I got laptop. I bought a laptop just for that type of stuff too. So what well, I need? I got a laptop, tablet, tablet too, so we can got definitely you. get that done. I will I will take care of you. It's a link in my bio. You hit the DJ Squirt Marketing. It's $150. It gives you the instructions. Make sure you get your we transfer. Have me your pictures, your music. You upload everything to it. Create your store. It's like $250 a year, or you can do $36 a month. It's up to you. I would do it by the year. Do the, do, do, the year. do the year. But so you do that, and that's there. That is your engine. That is your network. When somebody want to book you and you put book me on here, somebody from Australia or Germany see that, be like, boom, can you come to? You working your thing right there. It ain't nobody stealing from you. Ain't nobody taking from you. It's all you. All right. Yeah. Definitely hit that. Let me know if you need me. I got you. Uh, we could do that. And you can work it right from your phone. You open the app on your phone. You can add a picture. Oh, I want to change this. You can do it right from your phone. But you need to be getting online from your website. You can do a, um, what you call them, a blog from your website. You can go live on YouTube and it streams live to your website. It's I can I got you. Well, I have consultations. I show you how to do it. We work it. Boom. Now, before we get off, <laughs> look, you already that's crazy. Oh. No, my my birthday tomorrow. Somebody 
to just cash out me and say that's for your website. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them to do that. <laughs> you tell them to do that for you. Everybody, you need $150. Send this ca put your cash up on there. Put your cash up on the, on the screen. Y'all yeah. make sure I send some money. We can do that. get right going. Okay? Everybody wish me one. I'm gonna take a shot for everybody too tonight. Yes, and make, make sure that y'all show up. I'm um, starting to book the DJ Squirt Radio Show live in the studio, Cleveland, Ohio. I don't care where you from. Get your ass on a plane. It's on Sundays from three to five. You show up, show out, and you get that promo. Every time somebody sees you, they need to fall in love with you. They need to be able to hit your your website and purchase a T-shirt. They need to be able to do whatever, get in touch with you some kind of way, so that you benefit from every movement that you make. If you do that, you'll be able to move all the time. You look up like, oh, damn, I made a thousand dollars on my website. Where I'm going this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, you drop. You definitely gave me some jewels. I love it. That's what I do. Now, I ain't trying to make nobody do nothing, but if you don't do it, that's on you because I'm doing what I do. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. my goal in life, though, is a school I opened up. was called DJ Squared Academy, and I'm working with the teacher on foster home kids. I'm going to heal their hearts and feed their minds. Okay. Now, so I got some. I want to see how you doing with this later. I'm gonna check in with you. So you got your you got your hundred thousand dollar project. You get your merch going. Upload your music for a dollar ninety nine. Put it on site and then you promote it. Best way to do a project. You have to link tree. I got one. That's cool. <laughs> but you can add it as. But the website I'm gonna give you gives you your own link. See that link yeah. right here? Bio site. We can put this? them on each other. I'm gonna put them on each other. If you get that, you know. Need link tree. You just need a way to be able to pull the money in. Yeah. Unless it's free. Now, another option. So it's okay. Unless it's free, link it right back to your website. Right. Don't matter. Okay. And I'm a, every uh, every resource to bring it back to you is is good. Okay. Okay. So media is a resource. Your website is your home base. You know, just not having a website is like having a car with with no wheels and expecting it to roll. It ain't gonna roll. Then. Right. Okay. So. Before we leave, I got one more thing I'm supposed to do. I don't know what impelled me to do all this damn talking with you. I know some people mad at me right now. I'm supposed to be doing something else. But anyway. <laughs> That's how the other, my, my other interview was only supposed to be 25 minutes. It turned to an hour. Because y'all love me. I'm dope. <laughs> And that's how you're supposed to feel. But when people love you, you know what I'm saying? You care. You care. When you care, you care. You're not going to find that much people that care in this industry. 95% of it is bullshit. They smile like me. They love like me. And then they take your goddamn money and then act like they don't know you. So look, I've make sure there you, too. it's going to benefit you. Don't just say, oh, you're going to promote me on email blast. Okay, who gets the email? What happens when you do an email blast? Does anybody benefit from that email blast? Mm -mm. But also want to tap into you also, like I said, I'm with the Nerve DJs. We have a bi-weekly conference call. It is amazing. You're talking about networking. If you have all your shit together, you get your website, you get your stuff on, you got your merch. That's when you do something like that. You have projects. That's when you do something. You don't just do that. You ain't got no way to get back to, to be able to make money. Right. Like you know what I mean? I mean, no sense. So look, oh, I'm going to be looking for you. But yeah, make sure you get that rolling. Let me know if you need me. I'll be glad to help you, walk you through that. But check this out. This is the last thing. This is your DJ Squirt Grammy stage. Mm -hmm. At this point in this game and where you are, this is your time to thank everybody you can think of right now. What would you do if you're on the Grammy stage and you want a Grammy? How you gonna thank us? You gotta act it out now. Get your microphone. Come on now. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm okay. a, um, look, I'm a, you know I gotta shout out God first, first and foremost. Then I'm gonna thank my team who helped, who believed in me. Who I always supported, who never gave up. Well, you know how they be like, you ain't gonna do this, you ain't gonna do that. But I always stuck with it. You know, I'm the dog that had that fight in me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna thank the team, thank my family and all that. You know, I'm gonna throw my kisses and I'm gonna be like, that's my time, y'all. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta thank your cougar. You, you really gonna forget the cougar? Nah, you gonna be right there beside me. You gonna help me accept the award, right? First time. You the one gonna call me. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. You gonna, okay, gotcha. I'm gonna call me. I'm gonna come up to the stage. All right. Well, that's that's how you do it. Get used to practicing your award speeches so that you can get them awards. You got to act like that's you already crazy. did. It. At this point, that's crazy. I'll be doing all that right now. Even my performance, like on 11, I've been standing in the mirror like I'm finna get it. Affirmations every morning. Good morning. I am beautiful. People be asking me, how you look so young? Because I'm beautiful. All right. I've been on my life, okay? I've been <laughs> but once you heal, your body starts to act like it's supposed to. Oh, yeah. My health. Look, she say, don't forget. Oh, she gonna be right there. You know you gonna be on the roll because you gotta keep <laughs> right. 
That is so dope. Well, I look forward to seeing you April 11th. I will be there. I'll always come support my girl. Oh, yeah, and I, I've been talking to her because I bought her this gift and I don't know how to hold water. So I don't want to tell her <laughs> what I bought her. You feel me? So I ain't even reading out because I don't know how to hold water because I'm just too honest. <laughs> I'm ready to think I'm going to be there the whole weekend too. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, I will be there. Friday, but I'm leaving. I'll be there Thursday night, and then I'm leaving Friday night. I ain't got. I can't stay. I got stuff to do. But when I visit, I do things. I go for the event. I do what I do. I get my ass home. Because right, 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 right. I'm enjoying myself. But I will I'll get a nice big hug from you because I'm your girlfriend. Okay. I got. You. <laughs> it's been amazing, and thank you. I know we went too long, but yay! I hope you utilize them gems because that's how I go. Thank you. Better run with it. Hey, I, I got. I got, I got on projects too i got some major projects i'm working oh another thing i'm gonna uh i gotta listen to your song again but i have a connection with um oh my god my god oh my god they're in switzerland italy germany it's a radio network in those in european states european country and um the dj reached out to me and know that i'm talking with you guys and i send him music and every once a month he features an artist i have a spotlight on their network which meaning i'd say hey yo this is gmd this is dj spray i'm tapping in with google y'all check my boy out i represent the united states so it's a different country and i represent the united states oh yeah this year. oh yeah that's dope ready go run so if i pick your song and i send and they accept it you get played into six or seven different radio stations which is their fm okay radio stations for the whole month so it's all keep that coming keep sending me your music by that link because i need that because when i get in they love it and i send i just send that over they got all your information you feel me i got you i got you, you don't always have to pay I'm, I'm your manager probably did that but you don't always have to pay that's why i say send it for free but you know i that's why i appreciate it if you invest that's all that's amazing i love you guys and i also have another thing i have a project that i'm doing where i'm going to be representing certain artists and i'm working it through the system like a label would on purpose meaning the registration where we got to work on that to make sure it's a song that the whole country is gonna like you know not just a hip-hop bebop but create with a songwriter and everyone it's a project i'm doing so you get to do that and then we run you through and show you how it works with publishing royalties and all that good stuff and once mm -hmm. that song like that and the royalties all that stuff come back you'd be like damn Square hook me up, yeah, but you got to do the project with me. Guess why? Because I'm, I'm gonna be the female, I'm gonna be the female DJ Khaled. Then you're gonna hear DJ Square hey, over everything. Hey, that's what it's giving. You mm -hmm. might as well just mm -hmm. make sure I'm featured on every mm -hmm. album. And the guy called, he said, He said, You're doing the damn thing. How about you like to? Okay, so we're working on a project. We got another artist we working with. Just want to hear because I want to see how this works first. I want to make sure it's going to do what it's supposed to do before I go tell everybody. But when I do, I'm going to put you on my list, okay? If it works and it works right and everything look good, I'm going to put you on my list. Okay. Oh, I appreciate it. Okay. All right. Thank you tell to your team. You have a good night, you superstar. You look 15. So I feel <laughs> I flirt with you. You know what I'm saying? But it's all, I don't look my age neither. They won't know. Now everybody going to know. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you for having me again. So, yeah. Well, good night, honey. Let me know if you need me. All, All right. right. Thank you. You, All right. you have a good night, too. You, too. All Bye. right. Appreciate y'all appreciate for joining. Yeah. Follow me. Tap in with me. Let's work. If you're an artist, let's do it. My <laughs>